This question came for 2 marks for EC gate in 2004. The question is, in the voltage regulator shown in the figure below, the load current can vary from 100 milliamperes to 500 milliamperes. So this is basically the load regulation part of the regulator we studied. Assuming that the Zener diode is ideal, they have given that knee current is negligibly small and Zener resistance is 0 in the breakdown region. The value of R is that R they are asking is here. So first thing is to start with we always keep the Zener characteristics in front of us. That is, they have said the knee current is negligibly small, which means we will take that to be 0 and then straight characteristics like this, where there is no Zener resistance. And this breakdown voltage is specified in the figure here, which is 5 volts. Now, another parameter given here is the load current that flows will be a minimum of 100 milliamperes and it increases all the way till 500 milliamperes. So, the load current can change from 100 milliamperes to 500 milliamperes. Now, the input voltage is fixed. Now, if you observe, this voltage is also fixed. This is 5 volts. So, which means the current that should be flowing through the series resistor or the current limiting resistor here is 12 volts minus 5 volts over R. And how much should this current be? And obviously, this current will be a fixed value when R is fixed. Now, how much should this current be? We know a maximum current that can flow through the load resistor is 500 milliamperes. When it is taking 500 milliamperes, the least amount of current that the Zener diode can take is 0. As we have seen that the knee current is 0, which is negligibly small. So, for 500 milliamperes, there would be 0 milliamperes, let us say. Now, when 100 milliamperes flows, we will have 400 milliamperes flowing through the Zener diode. Why are we taking these values? Because once we choose R, the amount of current flowing through the resistor R should be fixed. And that current can be 500 milliamperes. So, that when 100 milliamperes is flowing through the load resistor, 400 milliamperes will be going through the Zener diode. And when 500 milliamperes is flowing through the load resistor, 0 milliamperes will be flowing through the Zener diode. Because Zener diode can accommodate the variation in the current. So, when we take 500 milliamperes as the current here, the resistance value will be 7 volts divided by 500 milliamperes, which means 0.5 amperes which will be equal to 14 ohms. So, the resistance value should be 14 ohms. The option is D.